Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Book of Carol, Episode 2, Moulin Rouge. And boy, boy, was that a mouthful. Uh, but here we are, new episode. Uh, I'm going to say this. This episode was kind of slow-paced for a lot of stuff. There's a there's a whole plot line that I don't even know why it's there. It really feels like filler. Uh, so definitely not my favorite episode of Daryl Dixon. Uh, this book of Carol, like, I just want Carol and Daryl to, like, get together so they can fight their way back home. And that's what I really thought it was going to be. But we're still dealing with a lot of the fallout from Laurent and being the follower. And we learn a lot more than that. Janae's army is also making a lot of moves. So, uh, yeah, not my favorite episode, but also it wasn't it wasn't bad. It was just it was I think it was just OK. Uh, so let's get into it. We're going to get into spoilers. If you haven't seen the episode, make sure to come back and check it out. Uh, so we open up with uh, Laurent struggling just by being the chosen one, right? He doesn't he doesn't have a lot of freedom, uh, and also like getting to that place was kind of one of the things that had him that it was motivating him, motivating him to like kind of keep going, right? Uh, so now that he's there, now that he's there to fulfill his destiny, like things get a little bit more difficult. Um, we also see that it looks like. Uh, Laurent gets kidnapped, and we'll go back to that. So let me go through this like tangent storyline with Carol, and let's go through Carol's story in this episode, uh, and then we'll close out with what's going on with Daryl. Uh, so the plane lands uh, for repairs. They finally get to Greenland. We see that it's Greenland. Uh, it's really cool because we see some walkers that are like covered in plants. And they kind of mix in with the with the green pasture in Greenland, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, so yeah, they land, they find some people. It turns out to be like these two scientists who, uh, were there studying climate change, uh, who don't have the best of intentions. Well, of course we find out it's a walking dead story. So whenever you meet new people, if they're not going to be part of your main group, they're definitely trying to kill you. Uh, so it, it was just a weird story. Like the scientists wanted to kill Carol and then keep Ash to reproduce with him, I guess. To keep the human race going. Uh, yeah, overall, just weird. Yeah, kind of weird stuff. I don't know where that was going. Uh, I don't know that it was even necessary. Like I said, it just feels weird. But we do see, finally, Carol and Ash end up going to France. They, they land in France, uh, very close to uh, uh, Paris, which is, like, where they were looking to go anyway. So, you know, great navigational skills. Uh, as they arrive in France... Um, Carol convinces Ash to stay behind with the plane because he's still under the impression that Carol's looking for her daughter, not Daryl. Uh, of course, I think it would have been a lot harder to convince him to go look and put his life at risk to go find Daryl as opposed to Carol's daughter. Um, so it looks like Janae's forces are kind of recruiting people by offering them food and shelter. But obviously, we know that there's more bad intentions there. Uh, so Carol is brought in with the she allows herself to be either, like, you know, captured or recruited. Uh, so she's kind of taken to the camp where we'll see the rest. We do see that Janae's torturing that her lieutenant from last season that had, like, the, the face tattoo, who I believe he's, you know, I, I, I feel, I remember he betrayed her. Uh, I didn't go back and rewatch everything, so I don't, I don't remember. But they're going to bring it up next episode because I feel like that's the guy that's going to help Carol uh, either get out of there or find Daryl. Uh, it would be the, I mean, he speaks English, so that's one re big reason for that. We do see that they take another group of people to another place, and I feel like they're going to go make them zombies. Uh, so we'll see. I, I don't know if that's still the case, but uh, <clears throat> all right. Now, all the stuff with Carol, uh, with now that all the stuff with Carol's taken care of, we do see Daryl. Um, they have a nice moment with Laurent where he's just teaching him how to play baseball, uh, but they realize the people in this, like, I'm going to call it a cult or whatever. Uh, they realize that Laurent is going to want to leave with Daryl uh, because Daryl offers him. I mean, he just cares for him. And if, if he leaves, if Daryl leaves, Laurent's going to want to go with him. Uh, so they set up this fake kidnapping. I, I, I Something felt off from the beginning. So like Laurent gets kidnapped and then Daryl has a search party to go out to look for him. Uh, but it's an ambush, right, to kill Daryl. Um, uh, and we learned that it's because they want to move up the date of the test for Laurent, which the test is him having like having Laurent be bit by a zombie and then not turn, which I don't think is going to turn out as well as they are planning. So 
Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, now that Daryl knows that this this cult is trying to kill him to keep Laurent, uh, we'll see how also that plays out. So that kind of wraps up the episode. This one, like I said, very fast paced. I don't. Whenever I don't have a lot of notes, it means that it was some stuff that maybe wasn't. It just didn't feel noteworthy for me to bring up in a review like this. So yeah, overall, like I said, not the best episode of this uh, show so far. The last one was a little bit stronger. So hopefully now, I'm hoping once and Daryl, once Daryl and Carol get back and you know aligned, that things are gonna turn up because that that was the reason I was watching the show to watch some of those old characters interact again. Uh, and see how they can get back home, uh, get a little bit of closure, kind of like what we did with the Michonne and the Rick show. Uh, so if you've seen this episode, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.